is my nickel iron batteries, 10 cells, uh, 1.2 volts for each cell. Capacity is, I don't know if you can see that, it's uh, 1000 amperes. Voltage at the moment is 14.18 volts. They're being charged via this little wire. See that? And that goes to the house. Um, I can't afford a proper solar charger. So what I got is a cheapo one, which charges some lead acid batteries. Lead acid batteries will supply this circuit. See that? It turns, it turns 12 volts into 14.5 volts, or I can program it to go 16 volts. 16 is equalizing voltage, which should basically um, one of the cells slower than the others. 16 volt is 16 volts will bring all of them to what point where they were almost equal. The end result will I'll have uh, this 15 mil wire go into well, going across the room. An inverter. What I've had in mind is uh, what is it? An outback inverter, which turns 12 volts into 3 kilowatts of power. Uh, this inverter will also allow me to charge up the batteries at 14.5 volts. They can program up to 17 volts but uh, like I said before 14.5 16 volts seems to be the best uh, voltages you can do for the nickel iron battery the output of the inverter will go see that the transfer switch one half goes to this supply junction, the output of which goes to this uh, house distribution board. Uh, the input, this bit is supposed to be wired for the output converter but I haven't got that so I've only got the supply voltage going in there and if I were to just have battery power I just flip the switch and this wire will go programming it I also have this um, a meter is basically my micro inverter setup. I have solar panels um, supplying micro inverters which give the house three kilowatts of power. I also have See this um, uh, electric car charger, seven kilowatts power going to this plug, which feeds the car, which I parked it outside. watering the 
use bat shoes hasn't been a problem. Though looking at the wall, the water level is what I normally do. Let's get a torch. Just about to see the water level through this. It's hard to see, but um, see the difference in the shadows. That helps. Uh, the water goes in here. do is just fill it up the which indicates these two lines these two lines maximum and minimum water levels water is here what I've got is a 25 litre bottle of, of distilled water. And I have a hand pump going out to the tube. This tube goes straight into the batteries. Also have this battery hydrometer. Just pop it in the hole there and just uh, check the levels. Green is good, red is bad. Yellow, don't know if you can see that, is that I need to fill it up a bit more, I guess. Either way, it's my battery setup. Hope it gives you ideas for making your own and look out for my videos for some more technology. See you.